Hey everybody, it's Sean. Welcome back to my channel. You may know me as Shawnee underscore Mac from TikTok, where I do Patti Lapone and Jennifer Coolidge and Moira Rose, and I'm just generally um, a goofball. First of all, I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all your support thus far. You guys are incredible, and uh, the past couple weeks for me have been insane. About two weeks ago I was still in Cats Land and now I am in Beetlejuice on Broadway and it's a dream come true and it's absolutely surreal and I honestly frankly can't believe that it's real. I can't believe that it's happening. But I wanted to come on here today because I know a lot of you were curious to hear the story behind how my getting cast worked. I thought I would take you through step by step. I know I sort of talked about this on my TikTok but I thought YouTube being more of like a long form content, I feel like I had a better chance of giving you all the little details. So about two and a half weeks ago, I got an email from my agent saying, hey, Beetlejuice wants to see you for the invited dance call for the national tour. And I was like, oh my God, yes. The second I found out that Beetlejuice was going on the road, I thought, yes, I absolutely want to be in that show. And I even texted my agent that. I, I sent him the link to the announcement and said, can I please get seen for this as soon as they hold auditions? And he was like, yes, of course. So lo and behold, I got a text from him saying that they wanted to see me on Tuesday. At this point, I was in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. So I did the weekend shows of Cats, flew to New York on Monday, uh, auditioned on Tuesday, got kept for a couple more rounds on Wednesday, and on Thursday, I flew back to the show. My first audition was like a vocal audition first for the music supervisor and for the associate choreographer, and there were also a couple of casting agents in there as well. And I went in and I sang my songs and they went pretty well. And then I went back into dance and we did two combos from the show. One was Beautiful Sound, which is, I guess, the general audition combo. And I thought they went really, really well. I even peppered in some acro tricks at the end for our eight count improv because I know there's a ton of tricks in this show. So I thought, okay, if I really give them what they want, I'll have a better chance of booking the job. That's a big piece of advice that I have for anybody auditioning. If you know that there's a certain skill set that's integral to the show and that would really help you get the job, go for it. They want to see it and I and if you are feeling comfortable, you should absolutely take any opportunity you can to show that. So I did that and it was awesome. And then I got an email saying that they wanted to see me again the next day. So I went in and unfortunately because I had to take a flight back to the show, uh back to Cats, I had to basically tell them, hey, I can't make the afternoon slot, but if there's any earlier slots, I could go to those. Brought me in with the female ensemble dancers. So it was me, <laughs> TikTok's Johnny underscore Mac, and all of the female ensemble. And I knew a couple of them. Some of them were my really good friends. So it was just like such a pleasant room. That was one of the most fun audition experiences I've ever had. The associate choreographer Nancy was in the room. Uh, Michael, one of the assistant choreographers was there. Uh, and a couple of the casting associates at Telsey were there and they asked me to come out to the middle of the floor and they said, hey, so what tricks do you have? And then one by one, they started asking me to do tricks that were executed in the show. Lo and behold, I didn't know that at the time. Then when I looked back at the footage from the show, like clips of the Broadway production, I was like, oh, okay, these were the exact tricks in the acrobat track. I left feeling pretty good about it, but still not knowing, you know, what to think of it. Because here's the thing, I've been in auditions where I thought I killed it, and I thought that I was one of the strongest in the room, and then I didn't get a call back. I've been in the room before when I was like, uh, I feel like I could have done better, and I've got the role. So you never really know what they're looking for. But I did have a good feeling about this one, so I flew back to the show Wednesday night, and about Friday mid-afternoon, I get a text from my agent saying, hey, the team are interested in pursuing you for a vacation swing position in the Broadway company. And I was like, uh, yes, please. Like making my Broadway debut, please. Like I'll do anything. I, did, I had no idea that that was really in the cards, right? Because I knew that the uh, initial audition was gonna be for the tour. So I thought, okay, I'll just, I would love to do the touring production. Lo and behold, with COVID and injuries and a lot of other, you know, external circumstances, they were really in need of some additional coverage. My agent said, but it's not a done deal. Like, I don't want you to get your hopes up, but 
this is a possibility. So then the next 24 hours were just kind of excruciating because I was like, I want this so bad and what a great opportunity this would be. It's almost like a little tease, right? Like you dangle the carrot in front of the rabbit and it's like, oh my God, I want to get it. Um, that was an interesting reference, but anywho, I just really, really wanted this, and I knew that it felt right. I felt really good in the audition. I had seen the show in 2019, and I thought this, I feel like, is a good fit for me. I feel like I would really enjoy this job. Saturday, between shows, and it's my 24th birthday, I was like doing the shows. I knew I had two shows that day, and it was my birthday. The cast was being so lovely, and I get off stage after the first act, and I see two missed calls from my agent. And I know, like, it's a Saturday afternoon, so, like, if it's not a pressing matter, like, he's probably not gonna text me, right? So I feel like this is gonna be news, at least news. I didn't know if it was good news, bad news, whatever, but at least it's news. I pick up the phone, and he's like, hey, birthday boy, how are you? I'm like, I'm good, I'm good. And he's like, so, um, how would you feel about making your Broadway debut next week? And I was like, oh, oh my god, and I freaked out. Uh, my roommate captured some footage of me finding out for the first time, and it's really, really sweet. Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, yes, yes, I'm, please. I need to, I will get there, like, I will do whatever I have to do. And he said, okay, like, I just have to work out the details, but leave it to me. Like, I will figure this out. This is what I'm here for. And Mikey, my agent, is the best human on the world and figured all of that out with all the creatives. But the turnaround was so fast that literally I, I found out on Saturday, was told that my last show with Cats was going to be the next day on Sunday. So I did two shows Saturday, two shows of Cats on Sunday, said goodbye to everybody in the cast, left early Monday morning for New York, landed Monday night, and then was in the theater for costume fittings and for rehearsal and for watching the show the next day on Tuesday. And ever since then, I have been learning the show and slowly getting up to speed with the dance captains and they're incredible. And this is just such a surreal experience. Like at first it didn't really quite set in because I had been going back and forth to the city sometimes for other auditions, for times when we would have time off from the tour. So I was used to that, but now I'm like here more permanently and it's just now starting to sink in what's actually happening. I'm very nervous. I'm very excited. I'm anxious. I'm a lot of things. I think I'm everything. This is such a dream come true and sometimes it's scary to like accomplish the biggest things that you've ever imagined for yourself, but it's exciting and I am grateful. I'm just very, very grateful and blessed and I'm gonna take every moment out of this experience that I can and treat it with dignity and treat it with respect and the passion that it deserves. So yeah, that is my story of how I booked Beetlejuice on Broadway. If you guys have any questions, feel free to add a comment below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when the next video is posted. Looking forward, I'm trying to talk to some of the cast. We're coming up with fun ideas for TikTok. If you are interested in stuff like a cast Q&A, if you're interested in seeing like behind the scenes of the costumes or the set, this and that. I don't know exactly how much I'm able to capture at this point and to put out there into the world, but as soon as I get a more clear answer on that, I will absolutely let you guys know. I'm excited to see you guys later, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!